Are you ready to be unleashed and unstoppable? Are you ready to experience a breakthrough and step into your next level of leadership? Living a life of power, purpose, and possibility on your own terms, unapologetically. This podcast is for discovering how to play big, how to be unleashed and unstoppable. Through wiring inner success at the source as you step into your full potential as a wildly ambitious leader. We are Alexanne Carter and Carol Register. We are certified master neuro coaches and the founders of Unleashed and Unstoppable You. We're best known for being confidence boosting, neuro hacking, productivity, and wealth experts. And for high achieving leaders, visionaries, and entrepreneurs. Now let's be unleashed and unstoppable. Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Unleashed Unstoppable podcast. We are so excited to talk to you today about why collaboration beats competition every single time. I heard this week at a workshop that Carol and I were participating in this sentence of a birds of feather flock together. And I just think that is such a powerful sentence. A birds of feather flock together. Birds of feather flock together. And I know, and I'm going to admit that when I first started to, you know, enter the world of entrepreneurship, getting used to collaboration was something of a, of a new muscle that I got to practice and develop. Because my experience, oftentimes, you know, if you look at the school system and prior to being an entrepreneur, you know, I worked in education. It was all about competition, right? It was about evaluations. It was about competition. It was about applying for all these positions and needing to look the best, have the best resume, have the best interview, have the best questions. It's always the best, the best, the best, the best, the best. And it it created a very competitive person in, in me. And there's nothing wrong with some healthy competition. But I did notice entering a world of entrepreneurship, it's really about collaboration. There's not a lot of competition. If you are trying to compete for something, you're you're flying solo because this world and how you become really successful in this area of entrepreneurship, it really is about relationships and collaboration. And I know we spoke a lot about that last week's episode about relationship, the relationship piece. And I know we're excited, Carol, to dive in today, really looking at collaboration. So talk a little bit about this. I know, Cal, we were talking earlier about a bit of a analogy, you know, something to think about when we look around around us where we actually see a lot of twos and threes and how things actually are working together in multiples, not in solitude. Yeah. So immediately what comes to mind is ropes. If you're any kind of a sailor, if you've ever had anything to do with boating, ropes are rarely single. They're usually in twos and threes because twos and threes are stronger. And twos represent having people aligned with you who believe in you, who can hold you high, who are your safety net, your support. And often what happens is we're really operating in scarcity when we're in competition because we're thinking we're not enough and we've got to get better. We've got to do more. We've got to beat them. When in reality, when you're looking at things through a beautiful lens of abundance, that there is enough for everybody, that we are in an abundant, beautiful universe, and we can show you how to activate that, then you can really start to let go the pressure of competition and enter into these beautiful collaborations with other individuals. Yeah. Well, it's seeing everyone's gifts, right? Of what you can bring to the table and how you can work together. And that abundance piece, right? I know when, you know, when we're looking at wanting to be more productive and wanting to create more wealth, right? We're looking at creating more and we do need to operate from a place of abundance when we're always thinking lack and there's not enough where we're creating more of that. And so being able to just have that mental shift, and it is a mental shift, right? If we look back about how we're programmed and and how society, right? Society really leads on lack. And so it's really doing the some of the mental work, right? And shifting into 
creating that abundance and seeing abundance around you versus having the, you know, your blinders on and only kind of seeing this way, feeling like you got to go at it all alone, right? There's nobody out there like you that no one can feel like you feel. And one thing I've noticed in, you know, with our clients and with this world of entrepreneurship is that you're actually not alone. There's so many of us (laughs) out there that feel the same way, right? And that we get to work together and stick together and support each other because sometimes we get stuck, right? And and we we can't see in front of us. And the mentors and the coaches and our community are the ones that get to be there that hold our vision up high for us when sometimes when sometimes we can ourselves, right? Like it's not always easy. Yeah, you know, it it invites me to ask you questions because Alex Leanne and you and I've spoken about this as a do you feel alone? Do you feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders and that there isn't the support out there you need or it's going to be too hard to find it? I've definitely had that feeling like who could help me with this? There's really just nobody or it's going to be way too hard to go out and find them. And that's a perspective. That is a mindset and it's an operation that could be wired into your subconscious that you're making decisions by as can scarcity, as can this idea that there's not enough. But when you're looking at these things, what would it be like to have a mentor, a guide who absolutely believes in you? For me, it's been absolutely (laughs) life-changing. Absolutely. Yeah. (laughs) Let me just say that. Absolutely, right? Yeah. So, and I have blind spots that a mentor has helped me to see and uncover and go deeper. And, but it's that holding me high that's been huge. How would you like to have somebody hold you high? How would you like to have somebody that believes in you? And this is the power that you can get in collaboration. This is a power you can get in partnership like Alex Leanne and I have. It's really beautiful. And speaking to those strengths, you want alignment, but the alignment isn't about looking and doing things exactly alike. It's about, are you agreeing in your mission, vision, values? Are you agreeing in your core values and those things that matter to you? Because that's where you're going. That's where you're, what you've got to see and what you're driven towards. So those things are important. But the strengths, if you have differences where one party brings one set of strengths, another party brings another set of strengths, and you will because we're each unique... That's beautiful, right? That's so beautiful. And that's a part of that safety net. That's a part of that security you get when you're in a collaboration with somebody. It's a support net, right? I see you. I believe in you. We're in alignment about the things that really matter and what we're doing. And even that's a journey that evolves. And we absolutely are there for each other, believing in each other and holding each other high. These are so amazing. And I know you have more to say on this as well. Well, when you're thinking about alignment, right? Sometimes I'm wondering if the audience might be thinking, well, what does that look like when you're seeing alignment? And to me, what comes to mind is like the multiple summits and workshops that we've done, right? Like we have a title, we have this mission, we know, we think about the experience we want the audience to experience. And so when we're interviewing and getting to know different speakers, we present that, right? We, we take a stand for what's important to us. And I think that's what the power becomes behind that collaboration, right? Is we said this before, we, why we do what we do is fueled by why we do it. So we have that clear kind of our mission and our vision for what we stand for. Then we get to bond together with other people that feel that strongly and that passionate about it, right? Like you said, might have some of these different perspectives. And that's actually part of the gift. Because you can give different perspectives to like a similar topic and bring different angles to it. And then it just makes, well, I was going to say it makes magic because of of just the gift that you're able to create through these different perspectives, these different, these different experiences, right? That each individual comes to because ultimately we are unique. We are all very unique, right? We all have our 1%. 
and being able to come together with that commonality of, of that the mission, the vision, or that alignment based on your values, and then kind of just showing up with with your special flavor of what you bring to the table is again, it's just powerful. And whoever you're serving and however you're showing up, you know, Carol, you were sharing with me earlier tonight, like how you've met some individuals recently and you've been able to connect with some other people and some other people. And oh man, like just that power of connection and that power of collaboration and how just, you know, bringing people together is so powerful. And because you're operating from a place of abundance, you're just, you're serving. And I think that's what's powerful is just being able to serve from your heart and lead from that place as well, from your values and just like there's there's no energy, right? Having no energy, no feeling about it. Just being able to be really neutral, showing up as as your true authentic self and just being that person you are without some of the fears around the judgments and the criticism and the competition, right? You can just be. You can just be. And we're going to speak more about that really soon. And I love the way you brought up our DNA. We are 1% unique, 99% of all humans across the earth. Our DNA is the same. So how connected are we? <laughs> you know, and I... I can't remember if I referred to this in one of our earlier episodes about the sister cells in quantum physics and different work that's being done. Sister cells can be separated across the earth and what's done to one cell happens over here to another. We don't even know the full science of the power of our connections, but they are leverage and Leverage is a good word. It's a multiplication of you and your your interests, your impact, your mission, vision, and values when you are collaborating in alignment with somebody and you're both bringing these different strengths to the table and you're creating a greater impact. So if you're in competition, then it's like, Ah, I've got to do more. I've got to do better. I've got to put you down. You've got to. It's about getting ahead instead of serving. And I love the way you leaned into that, Alex, because I think that really hits the nail on the head. And we're when we're coming from a full cup, from a full place, and strengthening with one another, then that's when we are able to bring more to the table. And I love what you were referring to with our summit interviews and those connections we make. That's multiplication. That is leverage. That's abundance. That is spreading your impact and their impact. And that's so beautiful, right? And it gets us out of lone wolfing. It gets us into mentorship. It gets us into communities being surrounded, being in the rooms, as is often said, being in the rooms with those people who are doing the things that you want to do, well, it can start with that service of a collaboration. Visibility as well, right? Visibility is a big thing, right? As an entrepreneur, right? To really be seen and know and heard. And when you have this collaboration and other people who are vouch for you that you've built the no like, and trust factor, it opens up that door that other people can then create that with you. And that just helps build those relationships further when you you have that opportunity and and that sort of presentation. I'm just thinking, you know, talking about leverage and this collaboration community, like we're participating right now in the business besties. And that's such a beautiful example of all these experts coming together, sharing their gifts in one place, right? A one-stop shop and just supporting each other, getting to know each other. And being able to serve a, like on a bigger on a bigger platform, a lot more people in that reach, right? That right, if you were by yourself, right, it would be a lot of work to be able to reach and build that relationship with that amount of people. And so, again, just that power of that collaboration, right? Like that's why it goes back to the collaboration of the competition anytime because it is it is so powerful how you gain that visibility increase that reach, right? You're, you're leveraging your time, your effort and your energy. And we're all about that, right? Helping you be able to do that. And so it's a really, you know, talking about like the perspective shift, I, having that perspective shift 
and looking at the collaboration versus the competition ah, can just do wonders for for your success and your growth yeah. and your the impact that you're able to create by being able to build those relationships and, and a collaboration. I know we have a great suggestion for you guys. In last week's episode, we asked you to partner up with someone. And I we're going to invite you to strengthen that collaboration if you felt like there was a mutual benefit. And it's about abundance. It's also about the exact opposite of operating in fear. Because scarcity is related to fear. And when you're feeling like you have to get ahead all the time, you can be very fearful. So when you're going to collaborate and get to know somebody and operate from that abundance, it releases fear. I don't have to worry about competition. And one of the examples our mentor gave that came to mind, Alex, is when she spoke about all the health coaches that exist in the planet or all those who help with productivity or all those who help with wealth and finances. It doesn't matter because in abundance... We each have our own unique voices, what we're bringing to the table. And you get to connect with who you resonate with and who helps you to believe in yourself, to operate in collaboration, to operate in abundance and without fear. And that is beautiful and exciting, right? Well, you're, you're a vibe attracts your tribe, right? Like, I'll never forget that. I think that was something that also supported me in looking at Again, that transition from feeling those competition to the collaboration is like, is that your vibe truly does attract your tribe, right? You have your own story, your own personal experiences, your own twist. I mean, both Carol and I are master certified neuro coaches. So we really look at the neuroscience of your brain and how you operate in the success. I've studied extensively the high performer brain and adult learners with my background in education and innovation. So really looking at even as an adult learn in a brain and how you le- learn best, we're able to develop our coaching and our courses based on that, based on really helping you succeed in all areas of your life because it's so applicable to basically whatever it is that you really, really want to create because it's the foundation that's powerful, right? And so that's what makes us really, really unique and stand out combined with the principles of wealth and these principles of productivity, right? It's It's this full combined, complete transformation of your leadership through the work that we've done. And it's hands-on. It's not just books. And that's what's powerful. And we've collaborated with other wealth coaches and productivity coaches because as Carol said, everyone's going to bring their own unique their own unique to their table, right? Their own 1% to the table. Their uniqueness. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that. I think... Again, we want to invite you to look through the lens of collaborate. We want you to collaborate with whoever you've been meeting up with. And we hope that you are taking our invitations to do these things and following along and making it fun, right? Make it fun. We want you to be happy and we want you to operate in a full abundant place in all areas of your life. And collaboration is an absolutely beautiful way to do that. Look for business besties. Business besties is something really, really special and magical that we're bringing you right now that can amplify your collaborations, amplify your outreach, your abilities, And especially before the end of the year, it's going to be giving you some incredible resources. So watch out for that. And we have even more on the way. So we're excited about Black Friday. We'll be talking more about that as well. And yeah, I think that you guys are probably in complete alignment with this. We want to invite you to just start to look at this lens of abundance and of collaboration and all the beautiful benefits that you receive from this. 
So we invite you to subscribe, by the way. And I know Alex Leanne will want to wrap us up right now. So as if you guys hear what Carol invited you guys to do earlier, we invite you to reconnect with the person you connected with last week, right? Schedule a coffee Zoom date or an in-person coffee date, right? To really develop an authentic relationship with this individual. Not just, right, we talked last week about that exchange, but really look at developing a real connected relationship with this individual. Where can you support one another? And really, right, because I know sometimes, and I'm guilty of this, where it's like, you feeling like it's a task of building this connection or having this reach out. And I would love to invite you to build on that muscle of, act, of having that authentic connection with them. And that's why we want to invite you to reach out a second time to just really get to know the person, not just on the professional level, but on a personal level where you get to build that know, like, and trust factor because that really does go even a longer way with the collaboration piece when someone really truly gets to know who you are, what you stand for, not just what you do, right? So connect with them, schedule a coffee date via Zoom, in person, subscribe to our podcast, go grab your business bestie bundle, connect with us on Instagram at unleashed.unstoppable.you. And we will see you guys next week, right? Have a great evening or day. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Unleashed Unstoppable podcast with your hosts, Alex Dan Carter and Cal Register. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the podcast, please share it with others, post about it on social media, or leave a rating and review and subscribe. That's all for this episode, Wildly Ambitious Leaders. See you next week.